All right, Carver High, uh, a litany of baseball games to bet on tonight. A lot of action. A lot of action tonight. Why don't we start uh, down at South Beach? Uh, Red Sox in town to open up a series with the Marlins. They'll have Cutter Crawford going for them. Uh, Your boy Valente Beloso is going (laughs) for the fish tonight. Minus 175 for Boston, plus 145 for Miami, and a flat eight. Yeah, Belozo's literally never pitched in his life. He's going to get lit up, even with Crawford, who gets beat every time he pitches. This is uh, Boston's uh, night. I'm not laying that juice, but I'll lay the run and a half uh, for plus a buck five, and I'm going over on the uh, eight runs. I think the I think the Red Sox will torch him. He won't even make it four innings. Uh, I could absolutely see that. The White Sox and the Guardians get together in Cleveland. We talked about this one a lot earlier on the Lions share uh, with some taters. Chris Flexen and Carlos Carrasco is the pitching matchup. Right now, Guardians minus 210, plus a buck 70 for the White Sox and a flat nine. I don't know what's wrong with Carrasco this year with as good as that team has been because he's been awful and his ERA is even worse. Flexen stinks, too. I think over is the medicine I'm looking for here uh, at even money. And then uh, Cleveland uh, on the run line, again, I bet it this morning on the run line. I just think they're way better than the White Sox. This is a team that wins every night, and they win convincingly. Indeed. Uh, The Cardinals are at PNC against the Pirates. We hate the the Cardinals in Pittsburgh. We always want the Pirates to take care of the Redbirds. It'll be Helen Keller tonight. For the Buccos, Kyle Gibson goes for St. Louis. Minus 125, Pirates favored. Plus 105 for the Cardinals and a flat eight. Look, I think the only way to bet it is the buck and a quarter uh, with Helen Keller because I don't think they'll beat the Cardinals by more than a run because uh, Gibson's tough, and he's going to give Keller a game. I think this is an under, and I think it's going to be a really tight, good game. And Keller has been every bit as good as Skeens and Jones. He just doesn't get the juice that Skeens gets. Skeens is so popular right now. People are forgetting to realize what Keller's doing. I mean, this has been like seven, eight starts in a row where he's been absolutely dominant, Mike. Yeah, he's been outstanding. Really, the entire Pirates staff, as you've mentioned a few times, uh, they have gotten great performances up and down. I saw today, statistically, Second best staff in the National League behind the Phillies uh, so far this year has been the Buccos, and that's why they're still sitting there uh, right in the mix, about 500. The Reds are in the Bronx for the next few days. They'll have Graham Ashcraft tonight against Louis Heal and the Yankees. Minus 210 for the Bombers, plus 170 for Cincinnati, and an eight and a half. Yeah, look, uh, Heal's been getting lit up. Even though he's got these brilliant numbers, he's been – terrible of late he seems shot already because he's never pitched on this level before and this many innings and it seems like he's kind of hit a wall so i don't believe for one minute in his 3-1 era it's more to me like five or six now he's given up per game and ashcraft already gives up five or six runs a game i like the over here and I like the uh, Yankees to get it done. If I'm going to bet it, um, there's no way I'm betting 227. I'm going to go run line in the over. The Mets are still in D.C. against the Nationals. Sean Manaya and D.J. Hurst tonight. Minus 150 for the Mets. A flat nine total. Another heavy total. This Hurst, he's given up a lot of taters as well, Scotty. I thought about putting a few Mets on the board for tater time. Yeah, hearse, it's like driving in a hearse. Uh, all I know is my man gives up long balls and runs galore. I still have to roll with the Mets here. And, you know, uh, plus money on the run line, I'll take it. And again, uh, over nine, I, I'm thinking runs tonight. It's hot, and it's uh, a hot team with bats and home runs. And uh, J.D. Martinez, Lindor, I'll put money on either one of them to hit one out. The Astros are in Toronto, north of the border against the Jays. Your boy, Spencer Arigetti, Serengeti, going against the Blue Jays tonight. And Jose Berrios, minus 115 for the Jays. 
Minus 105 now for the Strohs, who have been red hot, and an eight and a half total. I mean, they're just uh, scoring so many runs. You got to get them at uh, minus a buck five. That's the price on Serengeti. And give me the over. The way they're scoring runs and winning every night, what, 11 of 12, whatever it is, all they do now is rake all night, every night. I like Houston at that price and the over. The Giants are in Atlanta against the Braves. Ronaldo Lopez goes for them, of course. It'll be Hayden Birdsong for the Giants. Minus 210 for Atlanta, plus a buck 70 for San Francisco, and a flat eight. Yeah. Like, look at that price on, on the Braves. I think the Braves are going to win. The only way to bet it is on the run line at even money. Lay the run and a half. And, um, you know, I'm going to go under here the way Lopez pitches. He's not going to give uh, San Francisco any runs tonight. I like Atlanta and the under. And nobody's betting the under at all. Everybody thinks there's going to be a ton of run uh, in that game, and I don't. The Tigers are in Minnesota against the Twins. The best pitcher in baseball this year, you can make the argument, has been Tariq Skubal for the Tigers. 9-3 and three with a 2-3 uh, and a ton of strikeouts. He faces the Twins this evening. Simeon Woods Richardson goes for them. Tigers plus 105 here. Twins minus 125 and a 7.5. Wow, look at these. Both of these guys have really low ERAs. They've both been really good. Everyone still thinks it's going over. I'll take the under there. And, you know, why not at that price take Scooble at a buck 10? The Phillies are in Chicago against the Cubs, uh, where tonight you are going to get Michael Mercado against Hayden Wisniewski uh, for the Cubbies. Uh, right now, Scotty, you get the Phillies at my, actually the Cubs are favorite here. Minus 125, plus 105 for the Phillies and a nine and a half wind blowing out to left field tonight. And the Phillies and the Cubbies left-handed hit, uh, right-handed hitters for the Taters. Well, I know that, uh, you know, our guys are out, Schwarbaum, Bryce, et cetera. But I still think the rest of that team at plus a buck five, the rest of that lineup still beats the Cubs. The Cubs are awful. Cubs have not been playing good baseball, that's for sure. Uh, the Padres are in Arlington against the Rangers. Dylan Cease and Nasty Nate Evaldi tonight. Padres minus 115. Slight road favorite, minus 105 for Texas, and a 7.5. And yeah, I like the Padres on the road here. I'm, you know, I'm not buying this Texas uh, champion team. Uh, they don't win. That's just all there is to it. They don't score. They don't win. They don't do anything. I said this earlier. San Diego's been tough. They have, over the last three weeks, they've gone toe-to-toe with the Astros, and in the month of June, it's been the Mets, and now the Padres and Astros have been the hottest teams in baseball. I'm going to go San Diego again here, and I don't mind that uh, that juice at minus a buck 15. I got no problem with that. Uh, Rays and the Royals in Kansas City. Zach Littell and Brady Singer tonight, minus 120 for KC. Even money for the Rays. Another big, hefty nine and a half. Yeah, I like the Royals here. Just straight up. Minus a buck 15 and our boy, a singer, at home at the K. I like the Royals. In fact, I think the Royals are playing much better baseball than the Rays. Uh, We'll slide one more in quick. Brewers and the Rockies again in Colorado. Dallas Keuchel and Ryan Feltner tonight. Brewers minus 130 and a fat 11 and a half. Yeah, I like the over again, and I'm still going back to the well with the uh, Brewers. I mean, come on. Are you serious? You can't beat the Rockies? You have a couple of late-night games on the left coast. We'll start at the dump in Oakland, uh, where the Angels and the A's will get together. Jose Soriano against Mitch Spence in this one. Uh, Minus 115 for Anaheim, minus 105 for the A's, and a a 7.5. So the young righty Soriano's coming off the IL. I actually bet on him and the Angels this morning on PharrellandTheBench.com. I put it out. I'm on the Angels uh, tonight at the Ashtray. Uh, We've seen a lot of very big totals tonight in baseball. This game is not one of them. Baltimore and Seattle in the Pacific Northwest. Grayson Rodriguez going up against George uh, Kirby's Dreamland. Minus 115 for the O's, minus 105 for the M's. And a flat seven. 
So once again, everybody's betting the over with these two really tough pitchers on the bump and Rodriguez and Kirby. And I think it's going to be a war of attrition. I think they're going to be dealing zeros. I like the under. And uh, I'll tell you what. I mean, this is as good as it gets. I'll take a stab on Kirby's Dreamland and Seattle to win this at that Ooh. price. I like it. Uh, I think that they can absolutely. I don't mind going with Kirby's Dreamland tonight. As long as they win like 4-1 and he gives up a homer to Gunnar Henderson, uh, I'll be perfectly fine with that. Yeah, uh, if, that's our, that. fine, if that's our path to that. victory, then everybody can eat uh, if we can get that. So a little everybody eats uh, if we could just put that in there. Uh, and the Diamondbacks are in Los Angeles against the Dodgers. Ryan Nelson and Bobby Miller are the starters. Minus 190 for L.A., plus 155 for the Snakes, and a flat nine. Yeah, you know, look, uh, this guy, uh, to be honest with you, Nelson, I mean, he hasn't been that bad, Mike, and he's pitched a ton of innings, a lot of work, uh, you know, a lot of Ks, very few walks, if anyone, Miller's ERA is sky high. I'm I'm drunk enough uh, with this pick. I'm going to take Arizona tonight at that price at a buck sixty-two or higher for the upset at the Ravine. 